I first heard about South by Southwest about 10 years ago when I was first working in Washington, D.C. One of my colleagues came into our office and said, we've got to go to this. This is where the cutting edge innovation is happening. If we're going to talk about technology and democracy, we have to be there. We were involved in something called the Open Government Foundation when we were fighting against SOPA and PIPA. And it led to an invitation to go to South by which I happily accepted, and found that there were a lot of people politically all over the spectrum who agreed on the idea of keeping the internet open and free, and it's caused me to continue to go back. During the Renaissance, you could go to a few cities in Europe and see very creative painters that today have priceless paintings. Many of the most priceless future innovations in software are going to come out of Austin, and they're gonna come out of South By, people that have come there who operate there. This is maybe the premier technology and idea innovation conference. As policymakers and as a policy community, we need to be there talking to entrepreneurs, especially young entrepreneurs, about how we can build better policy. I have spent a lifetime in national security and I do research. And when social networks exploded, they raised a very obvious question. How are social networks going to transform national security? Because we already know they've had a profound impact on our lives. They changed how we do business. They changed how we do politics. How are they going to affect the, the challenge of keeping us safe? So what better place to talk about the incredible transformative effects about social networks and national security than a place where people really like to talk about truly transformative ideas? We're not building and selling product. We're not building and selling apps we're building and selling ideas. We have to tell our story and we have to provide context for that narrative, why we make the decisions that we make. And we should be there to learn from and listen to the entrepreneurs and the innovators outside the Beltway. But I believe these kinds of conferences are critical to an educated electorate.